Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna share with you a little bit about my process of how I come up with my video ideas, how I organize them and structure them, and how I make my content different from other people doing kind of the same thing. That's what we're gonna look at in today's video. Let's go. Hey guys, Jesse here from Sweet Academy, helping you get your English to the next level. And now I'm talking to specifically Peter's class. So thank you for inviting me again to your class. And I hope to share some valuable information. And I'd like to hear some of your feedback as well. Today, Peter's asked me to share with you a little bit about the creation process for my podcast or my videos. So I'd like to share three things, maybe four, depending on how you break them down. I'd like to talk about how I choose a target and how I narrow down to finding my target audience, thinking about content, what do you post videos about, how do you decide what you want to post about, and how to make your content different from other people and how to make it stand out. And finally, how to compact everything into a short video because you can pack a lot of information into a short amount of time. And that's what we're going to be looking at. So let's look at first finding a target audience, right? It's always recommended to find one single niche of people, one single target, one specific type of people who are looking for a certain kind of content. Now, I've struggled with this. This is why my channel is growing so slowly because I didn't really have that before. Now I have that. And my target audience is people who want to improve their fluency. Before, I kind of had exam videos, IELTS videos, writing, speaking, phrasal verbs, grammar, kind of even like a blog style, like I was all over the place, right? But as I'm doing this more and more, and sometimes this just takes time to, to like eliminate things that you don't wanna do and keep the things that you do wanna do. And that might be my biggest tip, what works, what doesn't work, and what you want to eliminate to find your, your target. After you find your target audience and who you want to who you want to direct your videos to, then you start thinking what content? What kind of content do I make? And for me, especially, I like to focus on fluency and by doing that, there are two things, two key aspects as far as language. That's fluency builders, like you know, um I mean, basically actually these kinds of fluency builders that don't have a meaning but they kind of connect sentences together that's the one first thing the next thing is our fixed expressions and idioms and really things that we always put together meaning phrasal verbs collocations and just fixed expressions that's what my videos are mostly pointed to now those details that really help build fluency and help you sound more natural. So that's how I decide my content. Now, from my life, my actual conversations and lessons with real students, and I share those with my online audience. That's how I choose mine. You have to decide for you who your target audience is first. That's who you, what you wanna do first, and then, Build the content based on your strengths. My strengths are, well, I'm a native speaker and I teach for a living. So I get these questions all the time during class and I teach these expressions during class so I can bring those to my online audience. So I'm kind of like killing two birds with one stone. Another expression I would probably teach to kill two birds with one stone. That's where my ideas come from. The next question, once you have your audience and you start finding content, the next is how to make your content different. 
because whatever type videos you're going to be doing or whatever type podcast you're going to be doing, there's already plenty of people doing it, right? So the question comes, how to make your content different and stand out? And for me, I used to see videos by, for example, ingvid.com or uh, English with Lucy, if you know her. And they're basically just a talking head. They explain uh, Ingvid with the whiteboard, English with Lucy. She puts some graphics and animations, and that's cool. But I'm taking a kind of a different approach, and I add PowerPoint presentations and that kind of thing to teach my lessons. One of my biggest ideas of how to make my content different is I go to different niches. For example, I love the channel The Future, the F-U-T-U-R, and that's not an English teaching video at all. That's a design and business, a business and design uh, YouTube channel. So I use a lot of my style from them. If somebody, and this quote actually comes from the future, if somebody is doing something that you want to do, copy it. So that's what I did with them. And finally, how to narrow your, your content down in like a five or six or seven minute video, whatever you want to make. Um, the first thing is kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple. Focus on one idea or two ideas per video. I know I have a series called Five Expressions, which is fine because it's just five expressions, one expression, explanation, pronunciation, the second expression, explanation, pronunciation, third, fourth, fifth, and I'm out. I have a standard opening, a standard closing, but I try to get right to the point and kind of eliminate the fluff. And I would probably explain eliminate the fluff. Take out the things that kind of don't achieve my goal. Get right to the point. So thank you for this. Thank you for listening. I hope you could take something away from this. And like I said before, if you have any advice for me or any ideas for me and my channel, then I'd love to hear it either in the comments or contact me at Sweet Academy Jesse or Jesse Sweet on Facebook. And I'd love to hear from you. Another thing is video quality. My camera, my technology isn't that great. It shouldn't really matter if your content is powerful. So don't let that stop you. If you like this video even a little bit, then consider hitting that subscribe button right there or below. And right below me is another video that will be useful for you if you're an English learner. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.